Hi, this is Jim Anderson with Psalm Tree Consulting, and I am coming to you this morning with another uh, word of encouragement. And this one comes from Ephesians 3, verses 8 and 9. To me, the very least of all saints, this grace was given. To bring to light what is the administration of the mystery, which for ages has been hidden in God, who created all things. You know, when we hear about the administration uh, or the economy, the news can be good or bad. And if we're not careful, we can set our hopes on the government or the economy to determine how we're going to be in the future. And what we forget is that God has an administration an economy that rules over the whole earth. In fact, we get our English word, the economy, from a Greek word, which I will not even try to pronounce. And this word and its related forms occur 18 times in the New Testament. And it's all based on a core word, um, which I'll try to say, oikos, which means household. So an economy or an administration is the overseeing of property. It's a responsibility, a household. Or even a national economy or a group of stewards. So Paul was a steward. He was a steward of the grace of God. See, human administrators just small are just small players in God's great eternal economy. Our trust is in him and his administrative ability, not in man's ability. When you read the headlines today, remember who's really in charge. And that means even over what you are stewarding in your household and your business in your whatever organization you are in charge of. Remember that, that God is really the one that's in charge. And with that, God bless, and we'll talk to you next time.